Yeah, is someone shortly going to be succeeding Oli Gunnar? We <laughs> shall see. Uh, live and exclusive on TalkSport, uh, Tottenham against Man United tomorrow afternoon, 5.30. Oli now has three matches to save his job at Old Trafford with pressure mounting on the Red Devils boss. All his next three games include tomorrow's game with Spurs, an away trip to Atalanta. That won't be easy in the Champions League. Right. And then a Manchester derby next weekend, Gav. <sighs> Don't look great for him, does it? I think as well, you look at the Spurs game, Al, um, Spurs against West Ham, sat back, didn't they? Looked to score on a counter-attack. They're going to do exactly the same against United. Sit back, try and use Son, Moore and Kane on the counter-attack. At against- home, you think? I think they will. Yeah, don't, mm. you, you, won't, you won't be bothered about that. He'd done it against Manchester City earlier on in the season. He'll do it again. He'll see how, how that defence is so fragile. And he was saying to Son Kane Mora, you just get in behind them. Because Maguire, Shaw, wan have looked poor recent games. I don't want to predict it because my predictions seem to go the opposite way. But it wouldn't surprise, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if um, Spurs win that, mate. Why do you say United will go down and then they might get in Europe, Gab? <laughs> You reckon? <laughs> it could happen, nah. Um, I don't know. I just, it's, right, it's a if, lot of pressure United, on it. United, if United get beat in London, right, at the weekend, is he, is he gone? No, I think the way to international break. Atalanta away, then City. Yeah. I think the way... There's no point sacking him after the Spurs game. They'll mm. wait. It's only um, two weeks now to international break. He's got three games. He needs probably two wins out of them three games, to be honest. Probably needs to beat Spurs and then beat Atalanta. Atalanta. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not Atlantis. You yeah, think Dubai Atlanta. Again? Uh, I'm pick- Atlanta. Yeah, I keep saying Atlanta, like America. A lot of people do. Yeah. Uh, right, Ellie, you said you think West Ham will finish above Spurs. Can you rank the London clubs and where they think, or where you think they will finish in the Premier League? So we're talking. Uh, yeah, we've got to put Brentford in there. So West Ham, Spurs, Arsenal, Palace, Brentford. You're okay. going to say West Ham top. Out of all them teams, yeah. okay. So we're not putting Chelsea into that. Oh yeah, where's Chelsea? Well, no, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea top. Chelsea top, of course. Um, out of the London teams, West Ham next. Second, yeah. Then I'm going to go um, Arsenal. Hey, Arsenal above Spurs. Yeah. Ooh, Arsenal, okay. Spurs, and Bre- uh, um, ooh, Brentford the Palace next. I'm going to go Brentford. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah yeah. So you think Palace could have a big fight on the hands? No, I think I just think Brentford. I think they're playing with a bit of passion, Palace. Yeah, they're playing well, but Brent, Brentford are playing well. You know, no one's battering Brentford. You know, they're, they're going toe to toe with anyone. So I'll put Brentford above Palace. Yeah, then uh, Watford. Where, you know. where, where? Just uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to take away from London now because we touched on that email there about Dean Smith. Where the Villa? A bit, Villa beginning worrying me a wee bit now mm. because I suddenly thought, hello, with well, that midfield, you know, and a Jack's yeah. now gone. And then the, the up front, they're okay, but 13th, just 10 points. Are they going to be okay? I think they'll all be fine. I feel that um, the big problem is, Al, is that I feel like he's been trying to fit in the two strikers, Ings and Watkins. You know, Ings has come in as a star player, star signing. Watkins is Dean Smith's man, loves him. Um, double figures goals last season. So but sometimes he, you have to make big decisions. Did he, did yeah, he I think he, I think he did, yeah, to, to, to help um, the load. But... Sometimes you have to make big decisions as managers in the Premier League. Al. You have to drop one of your big hitters. We see it, we see it with the Chelsea boss. Drop one of them. Or do you play Watkins on the left, um, Ings through the middle? But you can't be playing five at the back drop just Ings. to try and... It could be... I'm off to Newcastle, January. Yeah, Johnny. it could be, yeah. But Villa have got some good players. Leon Bailey, honestly, he's so exciting. Quick. Um, you seen his goal against Everton earlier on in the season when he got injured. Villa have got some good young players. Kid, yeah. No, it's um, the one that um, we signed, the Jamaican international we signed from Leverkusen, Leon Bailey, very good player. But Villa have got the players, but now this game against Sunday against West Ham, mm. Villa fans just want to see us go back to a 4 3 3, knock the five at the back on the head. It's not working in recent games. 4 3 3, and go and put it on West Ham's toes. So, talking about systems then, you've been critical yep. in the past of Manchester United's system. How do they play against Spurs? Well, I'll play exactly the same that they played in the last two games. You know, th- this is the game where you go out and play attacking football. This is the game where you go out and play all your attacking stars because Spurs are going to sit back. Manchester United need to go out there now and get the likes of Rashford on the, on the pitch, get Sancho on the pitch. I'll play 4-3-3 and three, three, just play attacking. Ronaldo on his own up front, Rashford on the left and Sancho on the right. Good year. Mm-hmm. But you said earlier maybe, you know, Spurs will sit and catch him on the counter. 
Exactly. So Manchester United just sit back then. It's going to be like the West Ham game, isn't it? I mean, I need to turn that game off. West Ham mm. Spurs, it was that boring. Where are you with Fergie? Now, let's get this right. Fergie was down at training, wasn't he? Yeah. But that was to receive awards, something to do with Martin Edwards, yeah. wasn't it? So, you know, one or two people have, have, have been given their opinion, and rightly so, yeah. United legends. Uh, we're talking about Wayne Rooney, Teddy Sheringham having the say in the former club, calls for Fergie to stay away from United games. Well, he's not going to do that, is he? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, Al. Like, Alex Ferguson... You know, Manchester United's best ever uh, manager, Manchester United fan. Why would he stay away from games? If you're if, if, if you're manager of Manchester United and you can't handle the pressure of Ferguson being in the stands, well, then what the chance Sun, got? The Sun's Mark Irwin, right? This is the Sun newspaper. Mark Irwin has said, uh, watch from home, Fergie's presence in the stands does no favours this morning and claims the legendary Reds boss is casting a dark shadow over the club. Well... Wow. Great. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't go with that. I don't go with that, me. Fergie's entitled to sit there. Listen, Fergie's getting older now, and he sits there with his good friend Satiris, and they sit in the director's box. And they, so so what? If United were winning, exactly, but, the show but, pictures of Fergie smiling, I could smiling, imagine Fergie would be like excited for the next game. Do you know what I mean, Al? Mm. He'd be like, oh, when's May United playing next? I'm there. He's not going to think to himself, oh, Teddy Sheringham said I should stay at home because, um, you know, I'm putting pressure on Ollie. He'll be thinking, yeah. what are By you talking way, about? I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd love to have a chat with Wayne or Teddy because yeah. I like them both really yeah, well both. and both ledge. But, um, God, I, I would, they, don't, they surely don't mean that. I don't, I, I don't You know what? They're, they're probably saying it, Al. They're saying it because the camera keeps going on, Alex Ferguson, doesn't yeah. it? You know, when you see, you see, you saw his reaction against Liverpool, you know, he's, he's, he's got that face where he's like, Confused of what's going on. I feel like they're probably they're thinking it of um, that reason, but still, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the pressure of being Manchester United manager, it's not going to be easy if Alex Ferguson doesn't go to games. Yeah. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe maybe it's more the newspaper saying it than the players because I can't imagine. Uh, listen, listen, Wayne's had his rouse with Fergie, of course he has, but okay. Teddy, I can't believe would come out with that. No, so I don't maybe, think so. Maybe it's just a, a, an overall piece. Um, that's, United, not, that's not Liverpool Wayne has been quoted on the back page of something yeah. too many let's take this one too many United players are not pulling their weight and that's unacceptable right, if that's if that's what a legend like Rooney's saying and Rooney's not one to come out and talk is he really about other teams you know he rarely speaks about Manchester United but he'll be a Manchester United fan he'll be fed up with how they're playing and he's not called out certain names, has he? So you know he's talking about like more than one, two, three players. He's probably thinking, come on, it's Manchester United. Well, it's, it's he played in teams play. where like everyone was... When we used to play Manchester United with the Rooney teams, uh, we'd go there frightened where you're sitting on the halfway line. I was playing striker on my own. You're sitting on the halfway line and you're basically just parking the bus because they've got mm. that many good players and you're frightened of them. If you had two shots the whole game against Manchester United, you'd be happy. That's Manchester United. It was a fortress, Old Trafford. So Wayne Rooney's probably thinking, like, what's happened to my club? Got teams going there yeah. now. And, like. Well, when you say frightened, I remember going to Anfield against, you know, Sooners, Hanson, yeah. Dalglish, Rush, etc. There was, you know, everyone was a top player. And and Bobby used to say, you know, Waves he says, he'd say, hey, come on, you know what it's like here. Mm-hmm. You know, the crowd, the cops suck the ball towards yeah. the goal. You're going to have to defend. We're going to have to get behind yeah. the ball. We're going to defend. And if we get two, three half chances, take one. Yep. And you defend. Yep. And you concentrate for 90 plus minutes. Yep. You know, you know you're up against it, don't you? Exactly. But you've got teams going to Old Trafford now and like even Villarreal, Atalanta, you know, Everton, Villa. These teams are going there now and they're like, we're not sitting back. We're going to go toe to toe with them. Mm. Liverpool going there and just. Playing fancy football, you know, just enjoying and, themselves. And, and, well, then there's something wrong because when you look at the names that United have got on the side exactly. and the internationals and the names, the big stars they have, something's wrong. So is it the system? You have you have you have, you, you have mentioned the system a few times, Gabby, and say it's not right. He's not playing right. Yeah, I think certain games, Al, you play certain systems. Like coming up the Spurs game, I'll play four three three. I'll play attacking, but. You played Liverpool. Liverpool's probably the game where all the managers would have reverted to, you know what, we're going to play a five at the back. You know, we're going to play five at the back. I'll play wan right side centre-half with Maguire and Varane. 
Maguire left side of the three, Varane middle, mm. Wan Bissaka right side of the three, and I'll play Jesse Lingard right wing back. I would. And that's sure, what Conte. Yeah, that's back. what Conte would do when he comes in. He done it with Victor Moses. Remember at Chelsea, he was a winger. Yeah. Um, he brought him and played him right wing back. Done a really good job because you're going to get more quality from that area crossing wise than Wan Bissaka. And Wan Bissaka, such a great defender. I'll put him there and play three at the back in certain games against Manchester City. I'll do it. Mm. That's where Oli hasn't got that tactical knowledge. All the managers will do it. Whereas he just looks like the sort of manager that say to his players, okay, same team, same subs, same formation, go out there and do it. You know, like no tactical awareness. That's that's the difference between him and the top managers. Mm, strong stuff, Gab. You almost said clueless when it comes to systems. I've done my coaching bad as NIL, do you know what I mean, mate? Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.